Hey, this is Mr. Perez again. I think I'm a little early. We got a, we're a few minutes early for our class, but it's okay. Um, anyway, today we're going to do the lecture on volume. And remember, you should have done the problems in your workbook because we are actually going to be doing a problem from the workbook. Now, I know we realize we're a little bit early, but let's go ahead and um, see if Charlie, our, uh, our uh, assistant for the semester, let's see what he's up to. He should be getting ready for class, so here we go. Grrr, me mateys, the seas are mighty rough now. Captain, we're leading to the starboard side. That's okay, we'll be fine. We still gotta find that pirate, that mean pirate, Mr. Perez. Charlie, are you ready for class? What? Are you, uh, what, are you busy? We can come back later. No, no, just oh, oh, okay. my model. All right, anyway, now that you're ready to go, um, Charlie, we're doing the workbook today, volume. What? Now you already did it, right? Yeah. Okay, Charlie, what does volume mean to you? Well, my dad always yells at me when I'm jamming to my music. Lower the volume! Uh -huh. Are you sure you did the problem on your workbook? Yeah. All right, Charlie, well, volume. Open your book, Charlie. There you go. Okay, Charlie, volume. What is the volume of a, what is the formula for the volume of a rectangular solid? Blank times width times height. Very good. So we'll go ahead and list that up there. There it is. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a, a staircase shape today, but we're going to break it up into rectangular solids. So let's talk about a rectangular solid itself. There it is for you. There's three dimensions here. It's a length times width times height. Now the length goes which way? This way. And the width? This way. And the height? This way. There you go. Okay. So length times width times height. So here is our staircase right here. We're looking at it. That's our solid that we're going to deal with. Now, we can break up this staircase into rectangular solids using a vertical slices here, okay? And there we have three separate rectangular solids, or we can do horizontal slices, and if we do that, we have the top, middle, and the bottom, one, one two, and three there. And to, for the purposes of doing this problem, we're going to stick with the horizontal slices. Okay, so here's our bottom rectangular solid, there's our middle, and there's our top, okay? Now, remember, look at your workbook. You were given some dimensions. You were given the widths and the heights of these solids separately, okay? So follow along here. Now, the bottom width was given to be, volume, bottom length was given to be 20 inches. And that is the same as a rectangular solid, so the bottom is the same as the top there, okay? And you were given the length of that first step. So, the entire length was 20 inches, and over here you were given 7 inches, and so what length is left? Charlie, 13 inches. 13. How did you figure that out? 20 take away 7. Very good. So 20, sub, I'm sorry, 20 subtract 7 gives you the remaining 13 inches that's there. Now that is the length of the middle rectangular solid. So remember the length of the bottom is the same as the top. There you go. And again, from your workbook, you were given that that little step right there was 3 inches. So, the entire length was 13 inches, and you were given that step was 3 inches. So, how much is left? Charlie, 10 inches. Very good, 10 inches. Okay. Now, that is the length of the top rectangular solid. So now, remember, that length right there is the same as that length up there. Okay. And so now we have all the lengths of our solids. Okay. Now, here is our picture. You have this picture in your workbook. Remember, all the widths were given to you, so pay attention to what we're going to do. Okay, so let's look at our step again. There's our bottom, there's our middle, and there's our top rectangular solid. And all the widths were given from the workbook, Charlie. What are they? Three inches. Very good. Three inches. Okay, so now let's separate the, re the rectangular solids. Take a look at this, Charlie. Whoa. Oh, you're fascinated, huh? Okay, well, that's good. Anyway. There's our different, three different rectangular solids, shapes one, two, and three. Let's start with uh, uh, shape rectangular solid number three. What's the dimensions for our rectangular solid number three? 20, Charlie, length, width, and height. What are they? 23 and 6. Very good. You're paying attention to the work. But now let's go to the number two. 13, 3, and 5. Very good. Okay, and give us the dimensions for shape one, rectangular solid one. 10, 3, and 4. There you go, Charlie. So, Charlie. The entire staircase has, how do you figure out the whole entire volume? Just add them all up. Very good, you're gonna sum them all up, okay? okay. And so, our total volume then, 
for I'm sorry, we're gonna by, we're gonna get by summing them all up. So let's find the volume for just the rectangular solid one. Remember, length times width times height is a form of trolley. What's the volume for a rectangular solid one? 120. Okay, very good. Now look at two. Okay, work that one out. I'll give you about a few seconds here, a few minutes. There you go. Yeah, volume two is what? 195. Okay, Charlie. Now let's do volume three. Let's go. Very good, Charlie. You're pretty quick. Okay, so now to get the total volume for our staircase, we're going to sum up all these uh, rectangular solids one, two, and three, and we get um, what was the volume one was 120, volume two was 195, and volume three was 360. There's your formula there, and notice the dimensions are inches cubed. Now there's two ways of saying inches cubed. You can I'm sorry, inches cubed, or we can say cubic inches, and that's how we give the dimensions for volume. Remember, what was it for area, Charlie? Inches squared. That's good. Inches squared or square inches, and the length was inches. Okay, inches. So we're dealing with inches here. If it would be feet or centimeters, we'll when we do some other problems, we'll deal with those type of dimensions here. Anyway, so finally, add them all up, Charlie. Go. Let's see you do some kung fu math on this. All right, we'll give you time to work it out. Enough time, Charlie. What's the answer? 675. Very inches. good. 675 cubic <laughs> inches is our answer. So, remember, do the remaining problems in your workbook. Keep up with your homework. Don't fall behind in this class, and you'll do fine. Anyway, um, I'm going to go uh, break out my little uh, boat that I have at home. I think I feel like going sailing, too. So, we'll see you guys later.